welcome back, welcome back. As you guys can see right here, uh, this is me a couple years ago, um, just just walking around the city when I was living in Amsterdam, you know, um, wearing those headphones. <laughs> I take the headphones everywhere I go. I mean, I think I took a couple pics, um, some girl I just met, but she took the pictures for me, but it was some random girl that was from Russia and apparently she was a lesbian right like super strange super weird um i i mean she told me like later on you know we were just friends you know we weren't she wasn't attracted to me or anything like that uh, just walked around the city but this is me putting the jumper down you know, showing a bit more cleavage, I guess. <laughs> but um, this is in Amsterdam. You can see the Gemeente Amsterdam sign right there. You know, it's literally right there. But yeah, um, you know, when I met the girl... Uh, but when I met this girl, uh, she said that she was from Russia. And in Russia, they don't take too kindly to people that are you know, part of that little bubble with the LGBT <laughs> thing. So she was telling me all of these stories of how she has to secretly be lesbian because her parents wouldn't accept that and society wouldn't accept her being lesbian. So she's telling me all of these things and I'm surprised that she even speaks English uh, or just walking around and I remember going to the, we went to the gift store, I don't know, we just walked around. But this was in 2020, what year was it? I don't even remember. Let me see the details on this then. Let me see the details. Maybe I'll see in the details. Okay, so this was in the 17th of July, 2019 at 2.59 in the afternoon. So, you know, uh, it was cool. I mean... I mean, this is the pictures I took right here. Another picture right there. I kind of enjoyed the day. I mean, it was cool. It wasn't really that ent it wasn't really that interesting, you know. Um uh I wasn't really I wasn't into cannabis back then, you know. I, I didn't smoke marijuana or anything like that. Uh I mean, I still, to this day, to this day, I still don't enjoy alcohol. I enjoy marijuana a lot more than alcohol. I didn't smoke marijuana on this trip, though. I mean, the first time I ever smoked marijuana, the first time I ever took marijuana. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys that story in another video. But in this, in this trip, uh, I met this girl and I completely forgot her name. And, uh... I mean, I, our eyes just met and it was near the station. You, you guys see this picture right here in front of you. Now, if you go to this direction, then it's going to take you to the central station. And near there, I met her and we just started walking around, whatever, and just chilling, talking. And eventually, and then, you know, eventually we just go our separate ways after a little while. She asked me to take a couple pictures for her. You know, she took this picture of me right here. She took that picture of me, this picture. And then there was like some prostitutes <laughs> inside here. And you can see this guy going in. This guy is just leaving. This guy is just leaving the... <laughs> he's just leaving after he's done having a cereal. Uh, you know, cereal with one of those... Uh, H-O-E's, so, or, or, you know, worker for hire, and, uh, I don't know, I mean, I didn't really enjoy the day, man, it was just boring, you know, um, just walking around, looking around the city, I mean, I didn't really enjoy it that much, um, I just did it because I wanted to get out of the house that day, I wasn't really that, I was bored at home, and I just felt like, oh, okay, might as well go to the city and see what's up, and, I didn't have any money in my bank account, so I couldn't really do anything. And I also had that hip problem in my hip, so there's that's the other thing. I couldn't even do much. But, um, yeah, you know, just looking at this picture, I mean, this was how long ago was it? Two years ago? This is when I was 20, 
Well, now I'm 23. This is when I was 21. So <sighs> the fateful headphones, man, they just follow me everywhere, man. These headphones, I just love them, you know. Uh, I mean, I guess I can't go anywhere without them, you know. And I always like to take those little pictures with my hands like that. I guess, you know, just to make myself feel a bit more important. Um, I don't know if I have a picture with that girl. Maybe I can find her. Ah, uh, well, it is what it is. I can't find it. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, you know, um, I don't know, man. It's just boring. Like, just never had anything interesting to do and... When you don't have any income, it kind of bears down. But in, in in these days, like, I wasn't really thinking about all that. My focus was really on trying to get pussy. <laughs> you know, uh, that's really what my mind was on all the time is, you know, when you're a 21-year-old, you're, you know, a horny motherfucker. You constantly try and have sex with multiple, not multiple, but different women and you are looking for validation from society i guess it's a way of like i guess you're trying to grow into you i don't know like i mean everybody goes through that phase i guess when they i mean you know when you go, go through puberty and you start to have attraction for women and stuff like that but it can really be overwhelming because you know a lot of the times you start to realize as you grow older that the world isn't full of roses and peaches. The world is full of shit and rats and garbage. It's not it's not roses and perfume. It's really dark, grimy, nasty and just full of lies, deception, rotten, nasty, filthy, deceptive tactics, like just stuff like that, you know. It's not full of people that are honest and happy and no, it's not. And even in dating, even when you're trying to meet a girl or even when you are even in the dating world, like when you're trying to meet women or anything like that, it's it's always a constant constant theme. Like it's just the constant theme is that you are constantly in a game. You're constantly being stalked by other dudes that want what you have they want the girl that you have or the girl that you aspire to have you have to compete with so many other dudes so many other guys for that one girl you know and especially if she's attractive so it's uh it's overwhelming and annoying you know constantly having to compete for someone and then constantly having to defend what you have so if you, even if you have a girlfriend, you got to constantly defend what you got because there's other dudes out there that want what you have. So, yeah, that's my story, man. I don't know. I mean, did I enjoy it that day? I mean, not really. I didn't. You know, it was boring as fuck. <laughs> it was boring as fuck because I didn't get laid. I didn't get what I wanted. Um, I didn't have any money to buy a prostitute. If, if I wanted to hire one of those hoes, in those windows and shit. I couldn't afford it. It's too expensive. <laughs> they charge too much money anyways. Like hundreds of euros for like one hour. I mean just so I can have sex with you. And you've had sex with hundreds and thousands of different guys. And I'm supposed to pay you 200 euros just to have sex with you for like 10 minutes. It's just. It's stupid. Like capitalism at its finest. But at the same time it's just stupid. Like why would I pay you anything? Like. I guess it's better for me to just masturbate. Then. I mean, you're not doing anything for me in that in that in that case. You're just you're you're just you're you're it's whatever. Like I could get AIDS or HIV dealing with you, man. So it is what it is. Life goes on. I'm out, base.